Libra. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <coughs> Libra, right now, you're probably in that energy of having the fear of the unknown, okay? Because you've been left in the dark. You just don't know what's going on behind the scenes, okay? So you don't know what to trust. It wouldn't be a very good decision for you to A, panic, B, to make any decisions because you don't have all the information that you need in order to make a very decide, uh, to make a very um, uh, clear decision, okay? This is lack of clarity. This is confusion, okay? So if you even have to make a decision right now, you just have to trust your intuition, okay? But right now, it looks like with the moon here, something's going on behind the scenes, but a lot of things are hidden, okay? We have the <clears throat> current situation as the moon here. So it looks like in the past, there could have been a breakup, a separation of some sort. Okay, you guys get a split, not talking, lack of communication. But it looks like there's someone who's coming here towards you who's wanting a leap of faith with you, okay? This is the fool card. This is starting from round zero. This is new beginnings. But this is also someone who feels the fear, but still doing it anyways. Your biggest challenge out here is going to be the nine of swords here, which means that you are stressing too much about it. Just like I said before with the moon here. <clears throat> the nine of swords. Yes, it is the energy of you probably have some issues that you're going through, okay? Which are probably keeping you in your head. But with the nine of swords here, it's almost like you're making mountains out of molehills, okay? Maybe your situation is not as bad as you think it is. But it's the moon energy out here which feels to you as deceptive. You feel there's something going on that you don't know about. You know, probably someone's cheating on you, lying. Whatever's happening, right? But the nine of swords is not helping. Okay, it's definitely making things worse. And if you continue this, then you're going to manifest your doubts and your negativity into reality. Okay, so be very careful about that. That is your immediate challenge out here. See, <clears throat> what you're doing right now, like I said, you went to things with someone with the death here. Okay, there's something that you probably repeat in negative patterns with the same person over and over again. And now you've come to a conclusion where, look, I don't know what's going on. Okay, because probably this person is coming back to you and now they're wanting that beginning with you. They want to take a leap of faith, okay? The fool is not someone who has, uh, who, who wants commitment, but the fool is someone who likes to go with the flow, okay? They're more like dead fish, go with the flow kinds, you know, like let's see where this goes, etc. No strings attached. You're probably someone who wants something very, very serious, something very committed, okay? And with the death here, you probably that was one of the reasons why you ended things with this person out here. But you've been a, you've made a very final decision and you've ended a very um, a very serious uh, phase of your life. Okay, you've ended a very big phase of your life and now you're moving towards the next phase. This is like a huge transition in your life going on, okay? Because you could have been back and forth with this person for a very long time. The reason for the reading, the root of the issue is the King of Cups here. So there is someone here who loves you very, very much. But the King of Cups is unspoken love, okay? So this is someone who loves you to the moon and back, okay? Along with the moon here, with your deception, where you don't really know if this person loves you because you've ended things with them. This is probably the same person who's wanting to come towards you and wanting to take this leap of faith with you. Okay, there is definitely someone here whilst you stress about it. Because you've ended things with this person, right? So yeah, you could have resisted uh, an ending with this person, okay? I mean, there was a lack of forward moment here. You weren't, be, you weren't being able to move forward in your life because you were stuck. You know, it was literally like resisting an ending to something that's already over and done with or a phase or a cycle that needs to die. You know, something that the old needs to go in order for the new to come in, okay? This can be a new person. This can be a new cycle with the same person, whatever, right? The death marks an ending, a rebirth, okay? So yeah, the reason for the reading is the King of Cups. This is either a new person coming towards you with the fool here, okay? Or <clears throat> this is just someone from your past who loves you very much and they're not the best at expressing their emotions, okay? Because they, they're very mature, they've mastered their emotions, but uh, this person does have a lot of love for you, okay? And um, yeah, like I said, the Three of Swords, there's been a breakup, okay? There's been some kind of an ending in the past year, okay? You've severed ties with someone. In the near future, there's going to be a decision that is going to be have to be made, okay? With the two of wands here, this is you needing to make a decision, but still not making it, okay? So I feel like you're going to be at a crossroads because again, like I said, with the moon, the nine of swords here, the death here, it's very confusing for you, okay? It's very confused because you probably don't want to repeat the same patterns with this person again, 
or even if this is a new person for you it's like i don't know if i want to do this again you have trust issues you know security issues but to me it looks like this is you who um does not trust this person who's wanting to come towards you in your environment that you don't see coming okay because you've already ended things and for you it's like why now why are you coming back to me now and that's what's keeping you at that crossroads you know that indecisive energy I do feel with the two of wands here, you're half in a half out, okay? So you haven't shut the door completely on this person. The death, yes, the death is ending, but it feels like ending of a certain thought pattern, okay? But death does not always mean ending of a relationship. It always, to me, it's out here, the way it looks like it's ending of a cycle, okay? It doesn't look like your relationship is over, over as such. Because what the person that you love or the person that you're dealing with is bringing into you is with the lovers here, okay? So there is a choice that needs to be made. Even if this is not a choice that needs to be made, I think with the lovers here, this is someone who loves you very, very much, okay? King of Cups and the lovers here, definitely someone who sees you as their twin flame, their soulmate, okay? So yeah, it's going to be a little tough decision for you to make because with the world here, that's how you see yourself. You see yourself as completed a successful cycle with this person. You feel you've finished learning about this relationship. You knew how whatever you had to, you lived the moment with this person and you feel there has been a successful completion of a cycle here, okay? With the three of cups in your emotions, you probably even want this reconciliation with this person, okay? With the three of cups here. But your energy looks like to me, what you want with this person is a little more on a lighter note you know but with the lovers here what this person is bringing in towards you that's real death serious energy okay so there is a decision that they need to make or there's a decision that you need to make here but the lovers is um using your head over your heart okay so you're supposed to you're, you're going to have to make a logical decision okay you're going to have to see which best aligns with your higher self okay so always with the lovers here it's always about choosing what is better for you for the long term rather than choosing that something that gives you instant gratification. Okay, if I make sense. However, the likely outcome here, the Eight of Swords, so it looks like you're still going to be confused. <laughs> doesn't look like, because this is the Two of Wands upright, doesn't look like you're still making that decision here, okay? So yeah, it looks like you're still going to be confused and it's just going to get worse. Because we're moving towards the Eight here. <clears throat> that breakup has had a very big effect on you. The Three of Swords can also be a third party situation can be the uh, sign of someone cheating, lying into you. But with the moon and the six of swords here, right? So there is a lot of confusion here. You just don't know if you want to move on, you know, and move and see what's there, if the grass is greener on the other side or if you still want to stick around, okay? The confusion is only because either there's no communication between you guys or because you're just having a hard time trusting your intuition, okay? You just don't know what to do about this. There's this um, unknown energy is what I'd say that's surrounding you right now. But when the moon comes in, um, most of the time it's encouraging you to use your intuition and use your gut, use your instinct and make a decision based on that, okay? Okay, let's clarify. <clears throat> let's see. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, please. Who has the Nine of Swords here? Ten of Swords. You're afraid of being backstabbed and betrayed. Or well, there was backstabbing, betrayal, this person could have cheated or hurt you real real bad and now you're stressing okay or oh, there is a lot of remorse and regret around here maybe this is this person here okay who is the blockage out here this person's overthinking and over analyzing also okay and from the nine you're going to the ten here okay which means that your overthinking is manifesting into reality the ten of swords is like the worst whatever you thought of the worst is happened or it is happening okay because you're not being able to stop your thoughts you know but what i see it is as the block it's the blockage here the nine of swords because you've already been betrayed by this person here because it's been clarified by the ten of swords here so probably you're trying to heal yourself you know and now this person is coming back with a recovery they want to bring this uh, relationship back from the brink of failure okay and for you it's like whoa <laughs> I mean, things ended so badly here. What the fuck do you want? You know, something like that. And with that full energy out here, it's like, let's see how this goes. You know, I, I mean, what I'd like is for this person to acknowledge what happened between you guys, but I don't see an apology here at all. I just see it's like, okay, they're just coming in towards you. Like, okay, let's see where this goes. Okay, like uh, that didn't end up the way we wanted it to. Let's try again. And you're like, no, no, no. I mean, that was bad. Whatever happened, happened. Uh, tell me about the fool. <coughs> What's the fool? 
Oh my god, the phone please. This person's hoping, wishing, praying that things can be okay between you guys. This person's healed. They've done the healing, okay? But, see, <clears throat> you have the death on your mind here. So to me, um, it's more like if I look at it in another way, with the death on your mind and the three of cups and your emotions, to me, it looks like you're not interested in a reconciliation right now. What I can look at it is that you ended things with this person it's done and dusted and for right now with the three of cups here either you're focused on other people you want to chill you want to date you want to explore your options or you just want to have fun you just want to stay single and you know and i mean you have no intentions of being with this person here whilst this person with the king of cups here is definitely coming towards you with the energy of love okay they do they do and that's not a page that's not a knight that's a king here okay so they know what they want they know what they're going towards um with the fool and the star here, right? You have two major arcanas here as your current situation. So that's like a huge transition that's going on, okay? From the zero um, to um, the 17, yeah. So it's almost like this person literally has a lot of faith and hope that things will happen. But the star is also the card of something that, that's very destined, very fated, okay? So it looks like this is something that had to happen and probably this ending had to take place in order for you guys to have this new beginning or even if you're choosing to be single and choosing to be on your own and you're not sure if you want this it's still a brand new beginning <clears throat> because when this card comes up right it, to, to, to me it looks like there's something that you were repeating with this person over and over again right you had a real hard time letting this person go and uh, because you were so resistant right so there was this new beginning that was being delayed over and over again. Probably you had the fear what happens to you if you let this person go, okay? But you're finally taking that leap of faith of this person is just coming towards you, okay? Taking that risk like, okay, let's start again. But with the star here, you or them, someone has a lot of hope that things will be okay, you know? The star is also healing, but this is also having a very positive mindset, you know, that they can make things happen with you again. Tell me about the death. What's the death card? Why is this on Libra's mind? Pentacles. You ended things with this person because there was a lack of equal give and take. Now, six of pentacles, it could be someone who was giving to two people. Or this could just be uh, where you were expecting it to be a, a very equal give and take, okay? But it was just a one-sided situation. And you wanted balance in your relationship. You wanted balance in this situation, balance in this connection. And for you, it's like you probably were being a little over generous and giving too much in this relationship. And for you, it's like if that's not happening, then this is not happening, you know. So then you probably ended it because there was a lack of equal give and take. And you were looking for that. You wanted this person to give you what you deserve, okay? And you put in a lot of effort and work into this relationship. And when this person refused to do that or they were just ignorant, that's when you chose to end this, okay? Um, okay, tell me about the two of wands. Why the two, why the two of wands here? A decision needs to be made with the devil in the near future, two of wands and the devil here. This person is toxic as fuck, you know, with two of wands here. <clears throat> It's a situation where you know you need to make a decision but because of the devil card here, okay? This is a situation where you feel you cannot get out of this situation or you can't get rid of this person or you cannot let this person go, okay? Because it's already happened in the past year with the death here. You had a hard time releasing this person and now with the death here in the near future, this person's coming back to you. The devil is also like the lovers, right? We have the lovers and the devil here, right? But just that this one's blessed by the devil and this one's cursed by the devil and this is blessed by Arcandu, right? So there is this negative pattern to me with the two of wands. It's like a negative pattern, okay? So it's like you're again going back to the same cycle in the near future, okay? Where again you refuse to make a decision or again this could be the same person who's coming back into your life. You give this person another chance and then the two of wands here. Again, this person's going to keep you at a crossroads, you know, keep you very confused. And you're going to be like, dude. Like, what the hell? We just started off, you know, a new beginning. And again, we're going through the same thing, you know. So, again, there's a cycle that's repeating is what I'm seeing here. But the two of wands and the devil here, it means that you feel very restricted 
and that's one of the reasons why not being able to make a choice that the, 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 the devil is also very codependency card okay so you're probably releasing yourself from the situation you're trying your best to let go of this person because it's very toxic but something's stopping you from making a decision here okay and with the death card that's a very restrictive restrictive energy fear codependent you know it's where like you know you need to do something you know something's not good for you but you still stick that around because it's so tempting, right? It's so tempting to go back to that same known energy, going back to that same person, you know, wanting to relive those memories, etc. Right? But we have the devil in the near future. That's something that's gonna stop you from making a decision. So that's something you need to make and take into consideration. Uh, because look, for you, <clears throat> it definitely clearly looks to me like with the world and three of cups here that you're wanting to move forward, you're wanting to look at new people, you know. I mean, the world is ending, right? The world is closing out a cycle. We have the death, the world, a lot of closing out on cycles here. Once this person comes in towards you and they want a brand new start with you. So what's the world? Tell me, what is the world? <clears throat> Queen of Wands. It's gonna be up to you. You're gonna have to choose what you're passionate about here. What well, the Queen of Wands looks like, you're very confident about your decision about closing the cycle with this person. Because the Queen of Wands, she's very confident, she's very passionate, she knows what she wants, she gets what she wants, she gets up and gets it, you know, she's not laid back, she makes shit happen. And I think with the, with the Queen of Wands and the world here, it looks like it's a decision that was made with a lot of confidence. Like, it's like, yeah, I know what I'm doing, you know, and I'm going to do it. See, that's why I don't get any resistance from you to, um, I, I don't get an energy of where you still want to give this person a chance. For you, it's like it's done, dusted, and over, sorted, okay? We're, we're done. The chapter is over. I don't want you back in my life. That's what I'm hearing from you. Because you're being very decisive. You're very confident about what you want, okay? And you're very confident about your decision, and you know you're not going to regret it. But with the lovers here, this person's bringing in choices. This person's bringing in a choice for you, whether you want this person or not, okay? But the lovers is also making a very logistic decision, okay? A, some, a very head over heart decision. So you need to know if this person is going to be good for you in the long term or not. Or is this, is this just that instant happiness, that instant spark that you get when this person's back? Then again, you repeat the same cycle, okay? Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups. What is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups here? The Hangman. This person who's coming in, right? Now they're seeing things from another point of view, okay? This person's probably done their research. The Hangman is a very meditative, very spiritual energy, okay? So there are chances that there was a halt or whatever pause was between you guys, okay? This was forced on this person to take a break and think about what they really, really want, okay? Because they can't just keep keep you on hold all the time all right but the hangman is a very good energy because it's about thinking about what you want to do next okay making that move but it's also about um giving something a lot of thought okay so they have been thinking a lot about you with the hangman here and they're trying to uh bend backwards and see things from your point of view or at least see things from a new perspective okay so yeah this person has had some information from the universe from their psychic guidance okay or from whatever right they've been getting signals about they've, they've had some knowledge some information from a third source okay which is giving them that confidence and um to see things from your point of view so now they finally realize what you wanted was right and what they were doing was wrong okay and now they're coming in with that uh with that correct energy towards you is what i'd say okay but with a hangman here probably this person uh did keep you on hold for a very long time okay where there was no action but what was happening with the hangman here is that they were just lying there, not like the Four of Swords who was not taking any action, but they were lying there with the hangman here and trying to gain a new perspective, okay? So yes, they're coming in with that change idea, that change perspective of what they need to offer you. And if this person was someone who was emotionally unavailable, someone who had trust issues, they're finally manning up, they're growing up, okay? But you have other plans. <laughs> you do. Uh, tell me, what is the lovers? What is the lovers? Tell me what is the lovers? Five of swords. The lovers and the five of swords. I have 
have a feeling this person's not going to give up on you. They're going to play these mind games with you and they're not going to give up on you. I don't see this person giving up on you so soon. They see you walking away, but I don't see them giving up on you. They're not going to let you go. They have a lot of regret about whatever they did in the past here. And now they realize that you're their twin flame. And now they want everything with you. Maybe this was someone who was commitment phobic, okay? Or someone who had, uh, who uh, probably you were more emotionally involved in this situation, okay? There was a lack of balance here. But now this person realizes this connection. They're growing up with this connection. And um, <clears throat> I feel they want to fight for this. I feel they want to fight for this connection. They see you standing up for this. They see you standing up. They see you, they see your guards up, okay? They see you walking away probably with... They could have sabotaged this relationship in the past, you know, but this time I think they're coming in with the energy of wanting to fight for you. They want to fight for this for sure because they see you walking away. They have a lot of regrets. They know it was an empty victory when you walk, when you walked away. They probably were expecting you to come back. They probably were expecting you to chase, but you didn't do any of that because you were that sexy badass. You were the shit, the queen of wands. What's the Eight of Swords? Why is this the likely outcome? Why is the Eight of Swords here the likely outcome for Libra? Two of Pentacles. See, that's what I'm saying. You're in two minds about this with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're living in your head, okay? It's like literally, you know what I'm getting, Libra? You're the one who feels you're trapped, okay? Your hands are tied and you can't do anything about it. And that's why you're going very back and forth. You're trying to weigh your pros and cons. You're trying to see. So I feel, Libra, you know what? This person's coming back around, okay? They want this new beginning with you. But you you, you have huge trust issues with this person is what I'm getting. And for me, what I can energetically feel for the Libras that I'm reading for, I don't know if you want. I don't think you want to give this person a second chance. You're over and done with. You may. You may, because we still have that indecisive energy here with the two of pentacles here. So when this person comes around, okay, in order to, re to, 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 to for this recovery of this relationship, right, it's going to stress you out for sure with the nine of swords because that's your biggest blockage out here. But the nine of swords is that overthinking also. I'm not saying there is nothing to stress about it, about the way things ended, but... Maybe you're overanalyzing this situation, okay? Maybe this person needs the benefit of the doubt. Because with the King of Cups and the Hangman here, this doesn't look like someone who has bad intentions, okay? They want to fight for this for sure. They're not giving up so easily on you, okay? They will do what it takes to get you back. Because they see you as very attractive. It may, it probably get very toxic, okay? With the, with the, um... With the devil here, it feels like you're going to be forced to stick to this person, okay? But again, there's a lot of indecision throughout on your mind. I don't see any indecision from their mind. They're not really sure about what they want here. But that three of swords that happened in the past year, right? I feel this is weighing very heavily on your mind here. And with the moon here, that's what's keeping you in your head. The moon, eight of swords, nine of swords. So many swords out here, Libra. I mean, you're an air sign, I agree. But with the eight, the nine, um, the three... That's a lot of mental energy, a lot of um, overthinking, a lot of stress, anxiety, right? So that's what I have for you. I don't know. I mean, that's what I have for you. I, I don't think I'd like to say anything more, but this is what I feel. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.